Nova Scotia is in the student loan business tonight. The provincial government is taking over from the Royal Bank. This is good news for students. Interest rates will be slashed by 2% for those still in school and those who began paying back in November. Here's CTV's Rick Grant. Lawrence Gallant is in the second year of a two-year business program at the Nova Scotia Community College's Dartmouth Waterfront Campus. Right now I have uh, both uh, national and provincial loans to pay back, so right now I think it's, at, uh, it's over $20,000. And when he finishes this spring, he'll owe about $24,000, over half of that, to the province. Until today, he would have been paying his provincial loan back to the Royal Bank. But now the Nova Scotia government is getting into the student loan business. Instead of partnering with a bank to issue student loans, Nova Scotia will do it directly. The provincial government will borrow $80 million to pay out student loans issued by the Royal Bank. And the government will borrow to finance future loans by Nova Scotia students. This program will shave two percentage points off student loans on the interest, so students will pay an interest rate of prime plus 0.5 percent. Any kind of uh, good news like this, is, it's definitely a start in the right direction. Well, we're real happy to see some changes to the student loan program. In order for students to take advantage of this program, they must first take on debt. And critics say that's the wrong direction for government to take. They believe the money should be put up front to reduce tuitions so students would have less debt to repay in the first place. I think I'd prefer to take it up front. We need an aggressive approach in Nova Scotia that will put grants and, and tuition reduction at the front end. There are a number of programs in the student assistance programs in our, in our whole um, menu of programs. This is one. Well, I think we need to do both. We're in kind of a perfect storm in Nova Scotia where we have no provincial grants, we have the highest tuitions in the country, and we have the highest financial burden on students of anywhere in North America. The program will benefit students currently enrolled in school and will be retroactive to those who began repaying their debts last fall. Rick Grant, CTV News, Dartmouth.